And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a tree for an app. I actually had to look up the official name of this icon. It seems like it's tree for an app. You've certainly seen it somewhere. Let us create a circle holding control. I click on the X to get rid of the fill and hold shift and click on the black cutter swatch to have a stroke. Press control D and hold control when you reposition the second one. The positioning of the third one is a little bit tricky. You can do it by hand, but if you want to have exact geometry, just delete this one. I need another one later on, so let me copy it once more, Control D. But focus on these two, select them both, path and intersection. So this is the element that we need. Then go to Object, Transform, and we need to rotate menu up here. Set it to 120 degrees, which is simply 360 divided by 3, because we've got three elements, and then apply it. You can see what it does. We press Ctrl Z, then I press Ctrl D, and now I apply it to the copy. We need another copy, so Ctrl D and flip it. And these are the three elements that we need. Now it's all about positioning them correctly. The snapping helps a little bit, but at the same time the snapping is a little bit frustrating as well. You can see that right here. When I activate the snap to paths, it snaps to the line, but it doesn't really help us finding the correct position sometimes. So you'll have to hold control, try again, get it out of there and put it back in until you found the correct position. Now the third one, we know the position. So down here where the overlap is of the other two, there needs to be the bottom of the third one. You can try to use a guide. Once again, the snapping is not perfect. And when you get too frustrated with the snapping, just select it all and then use the line and distribute function. The two elements at the bottom, I've selected them and then I've pressed Ctrl G to group them. So this is one element now and the third one on top is the second element. And when you use the line and distribute, you can find the center easily that way. In some cases, if it gets too frustrating, you'll have to combine the alignment and the snapping functions to find the correct position. But now we've definitely got it. Select it all, Ctrl G to group it. And now if we want to reposition these circles, make sure that you've got this function activated. So the snapping for the smooth nodes and the quadrant points of the circles, and then it should be easy. Ctrl D on the circle. Second one fits as well. And the third one is for the bottom. And once again, if you've got problems, just use the alignment menu. Select the top two, Ctrl G to group them. Then select it all and align it properly. To finish the design, I'll ungroup it all. So I'll select it all, then Shift Ctrl G. Now hold Shift and click on the circles on the outside and give them a fill. I put them to the bottom, then I shift click on the not element. You can see this is this element. And I hold shift and click on a white color swatch. Give it a white stroke and I increase understroke style to width. Let me make the circles black and this is the icon that you can see in the thumbnail. And this is how you can create this trefoil icon in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.